Hello everyone, in today's video I will discuss briefly the auto throttle system for the Boeing 737NGs. In this tutorial we're gonna practice together to see how the auto throttle system works. But before I get there, let me first give you some tips that you may need to know before we start this practice. The auto throttle works in two different modes. In the first mode it can set the thrust to N1 limit and keep it there regardless of what speed we want to achieve. This mode is called N1 mode. In the second mode it can adjust the thrust continuously in order to chase the speed target. This mode is called the speed mode. So in N1 mode thrust is constant unlike the speed mode where the thrust is variable. In N1 mode speed can be controlled only by the pitch attitude. N1 mode is used for high thrust settings during takeoff, climb, continuous and go round. The N1 limit is computed by the FMC. If I press the N1 limit key on my CDU, this will open the N1 limit page as you can see here. All the computed N1 limits for a different flight phases are shown here. Provided that the N1 set rotary selector is in auto, the N1 limit box position is managed automatically by the FMC. Just above the N1 indicators, you can find the thrust mode display associated to the current N1 limit. For instance, the box are set to climb N1 limit. Let's see now uh, with the different situations that I'm gonna simulate how the auto throttle works. I'm at takeoff position, my auto throttle is armed and ready for takeoff. Now the way we engage the auto throttle for takeoff is by using the Tuga switch after stabilizing the N1s at approximately 40%. Now when I push the Tuga switch, the auto throttle engage and set the takeoff thrust automatically. This action is confirmed by the green N1 displayed on my auto throttle mode annunciator and the movement of the thrust levers by the servo motor. At 84 knots, N1 is replaced by thrust hold. Here the auto throttle is momentarily disengaged, allowing us to have a manual control on thrust when either the thrust is not set properly by the auto throttle, so we can readjust it manually or we can abort the takeoff by returning the thrust lever to idle if something went wrong. During the initial climb, thrust hold mode will remain until we reach the 800 radio altitude, where thrust hold is replaced by arm annunciation showing that the auto throttle is back and ready to engage. Let's now suppose that the mode control panel MCP is inoperative and see how to operate the auto throttle manually. This will help us understand the basic of the auto throttle operation. Currently, I'm in initial climb. The after takeoff checklist is completed and I'm hand flying the aircraft using the CWS mode. Now, in order to continue the normal climb to my target altitude, first to let the auto throttle set the climb thrust for me, I have to engage N1 using the N1 select switch. The green light bar illuminates to confirm the selection. Auto throttle mode on my FMA shows N1 confirming that the N1 mode is engaged. Thrust is set to climb thrust box. Now I adjust my pitch attitude to control my climb speed, which is currently 250. This is the way normally we fly the climb below 10,000 feet. Passing this altitude, I start accelerating toward the economic climb speed computed by the FMC, which is 330. Now I set this on my IS Mac window and remember that we always control our speed 
with the pitch when N1 is engaged. So now I need to lower my pitch attitude gently to accelerate toward my new speed target. 80C has instructed me to hold altitude with 280 knots maximum speed until further notice. First I set my speed on the IS mock window. 280 set. I select speed mode. The green light bar illuminates and I pitch slowly the airplane nose down to level off attitude. I glance at my auto throttle annunciator on my FMA to check that it's on speed mode and my speed is set as the speed bug is showing. Now the ATC has instructed me to cancel speed restriction and resume the climb to the cleared altitude. To obey this instruction, first I set my original climb speed which is 330, then I select N1, green light bar on, then gently with my pitch attitude I control my target speed and I glance at my FMA to check that the N1 thrust mode is engaged. Let's see another example. ATC has instructed me to reduce the climb rate to 1000 feet per minute for traffic separation. To obey this instruction, first I select uh, speed mode, then I start lowering my pitch attitude down until my vertical speed indicator is pointing to 1000 tick mark. And I check on my FMA that the auto throttle is on speed mode. Now here is a question that I want to give you and I want you to give me the answer below in the comment section. If you are using your pitch attitude to hold your altitude or to climb with a fixed rate of climb, what auto throttle mode you will select. Now for the today's tutorial, I'm gonna stop here. In the next video, I will discuss the auto throttle operation on descent and how the auto throttle works in combination with the autopilot. Thank you for watching and see you there.